Hi, class. Um, I was actually going to do a sort of a pre pretty big demo of these facades and um, kind of like what I did in class. And then I thought about it. I said, you know what? I'm going to post up the work and I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, how we get there. Um, so I'm going to start out with the first one. If you want a facade that kind of feels like brown stones and uh, brickwork and that sort of uh, texture, then you want to start out with using, you know, strips. In this case, I used a paper bag and, and cardboard and cut them thinly, about a half inch. I layered them in, you know, in different ways so that I get a little bit of surface texture. And then I added these little brick-like pieces to it to kind of give me some textural base. So if you look at it from the side, you see that it has a really nice, lovely texture. And that's one way to do it. Um, another approach I took on one of my, and again, you, this is your option. This is your, you can be as creative as you want here because this is your structure, your building. Uh, in this particular case, remember I showed this slideshow with Antonio Gaudi's artwork, which is basically, he uses a lot of ceramic work on his surfaces. Uh, and I kind of started with this one and I realized, gee, I think I really need to dial up the colors on this, on all of these little sort of broken like geometric pieces. Um, so that's, I started with this one and you know, I put in my, my uh, window sills and I put in a little movement on the window, uh, which you guys, which I went over in class, but basically it's a, L bracket on the inside, just holding that, okay? Uh, and again, this one I was looking for texture, so I used my paper bag again, I crinkled it to kind of give it like a, a textured cement feel, and then I kind of like, you know, stepped it back, pushed it a little bit, just to kind of see what, what kind of surface texture I would get. And I thought that came out pretty nice. But I'm really, but I really, really think that this one came out the nicest, just because I really went to town. I, I ripped apart the cardboard backs, I created some um, non-geometric forms, so sort of uh, more morphic forms. And then I remember, if you remember in class, I actually made two strokes to kind of define a particular shape and form that I wanted to create. And then I just went in there and started layering it up with textures. And I think that really came out really, really nice. And again, if you look, look at it from the side, you get some lovely, lovely textures. So I think that's what you're going for in this project. And there's no one way to do this. You just have to sit down and cut out some pieces and kind of start thinking about maybe if you want a particular color or series of colors that dominate, you know, against maybe something that's a bit more neutral. Neutral means that there's no particular color in there. So again, there's different ways to do this. And again, I went back into it and I put a little hinge door this hinge door, if you notice, is not made from heavy-duty cardboard. It's made from more of the printed cardboard, which is much easier to cut. So you have some options here. And I still have to do this window here, but I'll get to it. Anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you. That was our goal for uh, last class. I'll see you next week. Thank you for participating.